Hello. So a little bit ago, my mail person brought this to my door and this is a Lush order. I don't know which one it is. I think it might be my Mother's Day haul. So now I'm going to open it and then I'll do a haul video and show you everything that's in the box. So for now, I'm just going to show you after I open the box and then I'm going to after a while turn the camera around and show you these one by one. And yep it looks like this is the Mother's Day order that I placed and it looks like I got everything that I ordered. So now I'll turn the camera around and we'll take a look at all these Mother's Day products. And so now I'm going to unbox my Mother's Day order so you can see all of the items and so I can describe them for you the best that I can to help you make your purchasing decisions for Mother's Day from Lush Fresh Handmade Cosmetics. So here is the box. And you can see the things in the box there. So I'll just take them out one by one. The first thing I'm gonna show you is one of my favorite things, and this is returning this year, thank goodness. This is called Mama Mia Body Scrub. Mama Mia body scrub and it's a body scrub you use all over your body in the shower and let me read what it has in there it's got fine sea salt pink grapefruit puree pink grapefruit peel Himalayan salt bergamot oil rosewood oil vanilla and rose clay it says scrub all over your body with water to buff your way to silky smooth skin and remember to rinse. It says not all salt is from the sea. Himalayan rock salt is harvested from the earth instead but still has the same cleansing exfoliating benefits on the skin. So now I'm open it. And that's what it looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? You can see the salt crystals in it, and it's so pretty. Oh God, and this is so yummy. It smells like pink grapefruit and vanilla. It smells like something you could eat. It's very tempting <laughs> to taste it, but that wouldn't taste too good. For one thing, there's lots of salt in it. So I'm so glad they brought that back this year. And then I also got, for the first time this year, they've made a solid version of it, or as they call it, naked. And it's naked from packaging. There's no packaging involved in this one. So it's very eco-friendly. There's no black pot to it. The whole thing is the product. Mm. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. It smells like this. It smells like pink grapefruit and vanilla. It's just not quite as... This is just, the potted version is just a wee bit stronger smelling. Don't get me wrong, this is, you can smell this. It, it's not faint or anything like that. It's quite nice. I'm just saying that the potted version is just a wee bit stronger. Oh, I love the smell. Isn't that the cutest thing? It's, it's almost too cute to use. It looks like fairies made it or something. So that is the same thing. It's a body scrub and you just rub it on your skin with water when you're in the shower and rinse it off. And it also has sea salt in it and pink grapefruit and vanilla and rose clay. 
And they smell so fresh because, as always, Lush Fresh Handmade Cosmetics make the products days before they sent them to you instead of sitting on the shelf like for weeks like other products in stores and stuff. Okay, so next. Next we have the, this is so cool, we have the Knockout Bubble Bar. It's called Knockout. It looks like a boxing glove. Ooh. Oh, that smells so good. This one has cinnamon leaf oil, so it smells spicy like cinnamon, and it smells pretty strongly of it, so it's really nice. Now, this is a bubble bar, and it looks like it has a little bit of some cocoa butter mixture on there. So this is the kind that you hold underneath the water stream in the tub and let the water fall on it and then down below in the tub it makes lots and lots of bubbles so you can even use this again there's this because this is what they call a reusable kind of bubble bar it's not a squishy kind of bubble bar that you squish in your hand it's, it's uh, harder than that so it's reusable and I bet it makes the water a great dark pink color depending on how much you use so now some of these mother's day products refer to the spice girls so so does this spicy cinnamon knockout bubble bar so pretty next is the shower gel and this is called ginger shower gel and for those og lushies you might recognize the name. Lush used to sell ginger shower gel a long time ago, only it looked different. It was a light pink color. And for Mother's Day, they brought it back. And look at what color it is now. It's a gorgeous sparkly red. And this is in reference to Ginger Spice from the Spice Girls who had red hair. And that glitter is so pretty. And this has fresh ginger root in it, mimosa, which is a flower, bergamot oil, ginger oil, red mandarin orange oil, geranium oil, which is a flower, sandalwood oil, and carrageenan, which is like a seaweed. And the glitter, the red glitter is so pretty. And this is not a sweet scent at all. This smells like spicy flowers. Um, I don't really like it a whole lot. I'm going to use it, of course, but it's so not one of my favorite less shower gels at all. If you like very flowery, floral, rose and jasmine perfumes then you would probably like ginger and like i say it's not sweet at all it's almost bitter because of the ginger root in it it sure is pretty though that's why i got a small bottle because it's not my favorite and i figure a small one a small one is enough for me and maybe my daughter to use up right away next this is a bath bomb and this is called Blazin' Bad Zula. Blazin' Bad Zula. And this one is made with cinnamon, clove, and black pepper. So this one is a desserty, spicy dessert kind of a scent. It's similar to the Chris the Camel bath bomb scent from Christmas, which to me smells kind of like gingerbread. I really like this scent a lot. It's slightly sweet, but not, it's not what I would call a sweet scent, but it has just enough sweetness to make it spicy and yummy scented. So I can't wait to use this. This is supposed to turn the water blue color. So I can't wait to see it. And I'll do a demo video of that for you guys when I get ready to take a bath with this. So that's Blazin' Bad Zula. Next is a shampoo bar, and this is called Posh Shampoo Bar. 
and after Posh Spice, one of the Spice Girls, and it's black, glittery on one side, and gold on the other side. This one is made with osmanthus, rose oil, sandalwood oil, and oud oil. Oh, this one smells woody and earthy, kind of like a really nice mysterious incense or something. I'm, I really like the smell, but I can see where you have to be able to like woody or incensey smells in order to like this. And I do on some things. That's why I'm saying I like this. And it's so pretty. I can't wait to use this. Hmm. So that's a nice shampoo bar, and it's called Posh. Next is another bath bomb, and this is called Madam President. Madam President. And that's glittery gold right there. And beautiful colors. This one is made with pedigrain. That's how it's scented with pedigrain. Pedigrain is a member of the bitter orange tree family. It smells somewhat like orange flower. It's, I like it, but it's not one of my favorite scents. Although this smells a lot better than the one I had last year. This is a returning bath bomb for Mother's Day, Madam President. This one smells stronger and more orangey than um, than the one I had last year, which is very bitter. Um, Pettigrain is like a bitter orange scent. This one is not sweet, but it's it's kind of nice. But it's not sweet at all, so just know that it's almost like an herbal orange scent. And uh, but it makes really pretty water. I can't wait to use that. And next is a facial cleanser. It's a solid facial cleanser and it's called Baby's Bum. And it's made with ingredients that soften it at body temperature. So how you use it is you gently glide it across your face and massage it in before using a warm washcloth or toner water to wipe away your dirt and your makeup that's on your face. And it doesn't really smell like anything at all to me because it has cocoa butter in it and shea butter and extra virgin olive oil and tangerine and sandalwood oil. And next is this gift set for Mother's Day. And you can give it as a gift and it's covered with a lovely, cute knot wrap that you can either wrap other gifts in to give, or you can use it as a knot wrap in your hair. And this one is called Garden Buds, and it's got four Lush bath products in it. It's got a purple butterfly bath bomb and a blue bath bomb with a white soap flower on the top, floating flower. And these two are exclusive to the Lush Harajuku store, concept store, bubble bars. And this one is a ladybug. They call it ladybird bubble bar, which smells like geranium and mint. It's purple and red. And this one is called magic mushroom, and it smells of strawberry and vanilla. It's a nice strawberry and vanilla smell. And you can only get these two bubble bars either at the Harajuku store or in this gift set. Lush has actually made these two bubble bars many years ago before, so I actually have demo videos of these, and they're also in my blog with my pictures and whatnot and my reviews of them. So that is the Garden Buds gift set for Mother's Day. And that is my Lush haul for Mother's Day. And I hope that I described these 
uh, as best as I could so that you get some idea of what they're like to help you make your purchasing decisions. So thanks so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon on the next Lush video. Bye bye.